Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to play around with Heijin's custom avatars. So on, on this platform, there's plenty of uh, pre-built avatars on the platform. We want to play around what we can do with these avatars. And inside the Heijin dashboard on the home section, just click on any one of these AI avatars. So let's say we want to choose Blake. What we can do is click this three button sign, click on edit avatar. In here, you can choose, you can give this a name. If you don't like Blake, you can give it something else. Uh, you want to choose the half body close up or the circle. So let's say we're happy with the half body view. We can actually generate different outfits for, for this AI avatar. So what we can do is come in here. Let's say we, we did not like the shirt that he has. We can do come inside and then try to describe the outfit that we want him to wear. So we can say blue hoodie as what we want him to wear. We can do a, this one, a navy blue hoodie with the printed logo, send. Now it's going to generate the image or the outfit for, for this AI avatar. It says it'll take around 30, 60 seconds. All right, so we've got some choices here. Let's have a look and see if they're any good. So this one, the neck, let's, let's have a look. We we'll zoom in a little bit more. You notice it's not super natural here, but the shirt looks nice to be honest. Yeah, neck here doesn't look too natural. So I wouldn't choose, I wouldn't, I wouldn't choose the hoodie. So I wouldn't choose the hoodie for this outfit. So let's do something else. A white color shirts. No logo. All right, we can choose a crisp white button up collar shirt with long sleeves. And let's see how good this one is. All right, it's coming up again. So maybe we choose this one. See how this works. And then we'll see. And we can compare to see the the AI outfit is actually good. Hit save. We've staged it. So what we can do now is to go back to the avatar page. Now we've got this AI outfit person. Yeah, again, yeah, the neck is a bit it's not too natural but we'll play with it now so what we can further do is we can even swap this face so if we don't like this face we can try some of these demos so if i click on another male look at this face yeah it looks slightly different so but if we play around with a female yeah though that looks really fun so if you got some other faces you want to try it out, you can explore this. But I think this one's probably the closest that we want to make. But let's just reset. But that's what you can do. So again, you can customize the outfit, you can customize the face. After that, you can choose a voice. So in here, we can choose the custom voice. So we can choose something like this. Dylan. Hi, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. That sounds pretty good. So let's try another one. Hi, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. So choose the one that you like. Of course, you can use any custom clone voice. If that's something of interest, uh, leave a comment down below. I can do a further deep dive on the custom voice. So let's say I'm happy with Charles. I can choose Charles. And then that becomes his voice. You can change the beat for this action. 
but you can't choose, you can't change the pitch. That's just how it is. So you got to play around with different uh, voice actors here. Some of them allow you to change the pitch. Some of them just allow you to change the speed. So let's listen. If we turn up to 1.1 speed. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. And then we make it slower. Hello, this is how I sound. Hope you like it. So depending what you need on your preference, let's say I'm happy with this one. And I'll say, it's not Blake, it's Charles. Then let's see what I can change. And then we can change this one, so we'll save as new. All right, so we've got Charles here. This one, we don't need it. We can delete it. So that's how you can customize your AI avatar. Next, we're going to try out the photo avatar. So going back to the home page, click on photo avatar. So in here, there are a few populated uh, choices for you, whether it's Mona Lisa and some of these, some of these AI generated images. So let's say we want to choose this experience. We're happy with this one. So we can create a V or edit the avatar. So what you can edit on this avatar is to either upscale the resolution. So this one looks very pixelated. You can choose this one Click on this. It becomes a bit more smoother. So remove background. Background is gone. I can make the resolution higher, but then you can see if these are not really good. So I would suggest just leaving this on. I think the background is fine. And then the view mode, you can put this as an original square. Typical. That's what you can do. And then same thing here. You can choose a voice that you like, select that, and then save as new. And then that will be your avatar. So let's say I want a male for this, you can choose female or on less than. Save as new. Now I've got a different voice for Shakespeare. Of course, you can upload your own, but let's create something from scratch. Go to photo avatar again, generate a talking photo. So in here, we can Describe the ideal talking photo that we want to do. So let's just give it a try. So a young boy with red hair, brown eyes, and then we want this to be a half body shot. Generate. Not sure why I got <coughs> a safety filter on. So let's copy this. Let's see if this works. <laughs> so I didn't like the prompt that I gave. Oh, I can put in an adult male with brown hair. Black eyes, smile. All right, awesome choices here. Black white's pretty cool, so I, I like this one. So let's see this one. Save it. So close this box, go back to the avatar. I've got this new one, so I can create a video. I'll create a portrait one. Then just zoom back out. So we've got his face. We'll put somewhere here. You can stick some images at the back. 
let's say, is a forest. Right click, set as background. So I've got this talking head now. Let's pretty quickly. So now we've got our background. If you have your existing script, you can just put it here. But if you don't have anything and you don't know what to talk about, a very handy feature from HeyGen is this chat GPT uh, script writer. So click on this and then you can ask the chatbot to give you a script. So create a short intro about personal growth. Hit enter. And then they'll tell you that how can do it for you? Please provide some more information about this focus and key points you want to improve. Key points don't be negative. Think positive. So these are just some, some random items. Send and then it will help you create a script. Or you can just use other chat box, create the script and then import it into agent. So let's just wait for a while. All right. Here we go with the simple script. Have a quick read. Welcome to today's video on personal growth. This video will explore the transformative power of positive thinking and leaving behind negativity in a world filled with challenges and obstacles, blah, blah, blah. So you can make this shorter, longer, more professional, more engaging. So I want it shorter. And then let's say we're happy with this. You can hit apply and close. Now it's generating this script for you. Choose the voice that you like, whether it's a, yeah, you would choose a man. So let's choose male. Let's reduce, um, let's do a And then play the script. All right, let's play the script. Intro. Welcome to today's video on personal growth. In this video, we'll explore the power of positive thinking and... So that sounds pretty good. So I've noticed if you click on the talking head, there are a few more options here. Talking style, they be stable and expressive. And for facial expression, the default and happy. And then you can also do the super resolution when, when we did this in, when we were customizing the avatar. And that's basically how you can set up the talking head. So this is a very simple video on how to customize AI avatars on HGN with the public avatars or the talk. So hopefully this was useful for you guys. If you like these kind of content, please do like and share. And let me know if you want more content on Hagen. I can do a small video of this. So have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.